When we look at the facts surrounding this issue, the conclusion becomes hard to deny. One important fact to consider is timing. The average wait time for viable organs is quite long because organs suitable for transplantation must come from healthy people. Consequently, the average wait time for a heart is eight months, for a liver, 26 months, and a kidney, a 37 month wait. A patient of mine who has been hospitalized for more than a year in my department at uh, being at the top list of candidates for heart transplantation, what we call status one, and we couldn't find a heart for him, has come to me, approached me one day and told me, Professor Levy, I'm about to go to China in two weeks time and they've scheduled me for a heart transplantation. And I looked at him and I thought that he was kidding, but he was dead serious. And that's actually what happened. The guy went to China and exactly on the same date that he was told ahead of time, two weeks ahead of time, he got his heart transplant. This got me going into a quite extensive research to find out how come somebody can schedule a heart transplant ahead of time. There's only a small window of time that a healthy organ can survive outside a body. This window of time is called ischemia. For a kidney, it's 12 to 24 hours, a liver, 12 hours, and a heart can only survive outside a body between four to six hours. What I found was something that was obvious for many years, and I didn't know about it, that for more than 20 years, organ procurement in China from executive prisoners has been taking place under official legal uh, knowledge of all authorities in China. And actually, organs from these executive prisoners have been used for any patients flocking from all over the world who could afford uh, to get the transplant from, from these uh, prisoners. It becomes a little difficult to differentiate between whether or not the execution is uh, being performed for the execution or for the donation. So it's convenient. It's hard sometimes we cross a barrier here. Is this a patient who's going to be executed anyway? Or is the execution a part of the fact, well, there's some good organs here? We know that some of the executions are timed for the organ transplants. So we know that has to be true, certainly for heart and sometimes the, and liver transplants too. You need to time it. You know, you have a recipient and your donor. Well, when are you going to shoot them? When are you going to poison them? When are you going to do it? Well, that's, that's nauseating. It's disgusting. It's criminal.